According to humans in the past, early Earth was nothing like a sphere. In fact, it was believed to be a uniquely flat planet with a hemispherical top, like a snow globe. The belief in this flat Earth was so strong that even though it was established in the 3rd century that the Earth was indeed round, the idea wasn't widely adopted until the 15th century. Obviously, there were no satellite photos to convince people of Earth's actual shape, so they instead relied on their observations. Furthermore, historically speaking, science was understandable and accessible only to the elite, which further reduced acceptance of the round Earth idea. Every modern scientific, philosophical, and mathematical principle was formed or influenced by a Roman or Greek thinker. Rome and Greece were once the incubators for ideas that would spread to the rest of the world. Sometimes they made mistakes, yes, but they were generally an intelligent bunch. It is said that Socrates, the legendary Greek philosopher, first popularized the idea that the Earth was round rather than flat. He observed a lunar eclipse and realized that the shadow on the moon cast by the Earth was curved, which prompted him to deduce that the Earth must be round in order to cast a curved shadow. Additionally, the shape of the moon, a celestial body just like the Earth, was also clearly round, leading him to postulate that all celestial bodies must be round, including our planet. Scientists during the same period noted that when ships arrived in port, the topmost portion of the ship would be visible first, not the whole ship. On a flat Earth, the whole ship should be visible from a distance. After the round Earth theory generated questions and debate, philosophers and scientists had to identify the correct answer. Around this time, a Greek scholar, Eratosthenes, identified the circumference of the planet. He observed that on June 21st of that year, the midday sun was directly above a well in a town named Syene, and the reflection could be seen at the bottom of the well. However, at the same time, in a town named Alexandria, 800 kilometers north of Syene, the same could not be observed. The sun was not overhead there. On a flat Earth, the shadow would be the same in both places. However, the shadow cast by the sun made an angle of 7 degrees with the vertical, which is approximately 1 50th of the circumference. Hence, the circumference of the Earth was estimated to be 50 times the distance between Syene and Alexandria, which is shockingly close to the planet's circumference, considering the limitations of that time. There are also references in both Indian and Islamic texts mirroring the spherical Earth theory. The round Earth theory gained momentum again when 15th century voyagers began to travel extensively for trade. In 1519 to 1522, Juan Sebastian Elcano completed his voyage around the Earth, thereby providing evidence of Earth's true shape. People who lived 2,000 years ago realized that the Earth was round via common sense, yet there are some people alive today who doubt the work of countless scientists and mathematicians to support the flat Earth theory. It's hard to argue with centuries of hard science, but some people insist on remaining in ignorant bubbles.